in for repair is a 1971 Zenith model B4519W. It uses the 12B13C52 chassis. And the problem with this TV is that there's no high voltage. We get sound from the speaker, and that's where it ends. So let's get a look at the control panel. Here's what the 71 Zeniths looked like. This is one of their mediocre models. Here's the auxiliary controls. You can see how Zenith got away from the under CRT auxiliary control panel like they did before with that metal flip down door that used to be down here they cheapened it up and they put them off to the side they still use those same knobs though if you're familiar with those sets still a good TV let's get familiar with the chassis here's the 12B 13 C 52 there's a Duramodule, the only one in the whole set. And Duramodules were first put into use in the 12A12C52 chassis in 1970. And this is essentially the exact same chassis as that, except this has the focus divider resistor. Alright, so let's power the set up. And we'll begin our troubleshooting procedure. Let's shut this light off. Here comes the sound. And we can wait and wait and wait. We're not going to get a picture. You can see you got the brightness control. This does nothing. Got nothing at all. You didn't hear the high voltage crackle either. So the first thing to do is use your high voltage probe, which we have here. We're going to check to see if we got 25 kV with the second anode lead. That's real simple. We'll simply ground the meter and we'll put the probe right under the second anode cup kind of pry it in there there we go we've got absolutely nothing not even a slight bit of voltage totally dead all right that leads us to go to the next step. Let's take a look at the horizontal output too. Filament's glowing, but let's see if we got red plates. When I say red plates, are they glowing? And they don't appear to be. And the reason you look for that is if you see the, the plates glowing on a horizontal output tube, it's pretty much a dead giveaway that the tube's not getting um, grid voltage from the horizontal oscillator. In this case, it's the 6U10 triple triode, which I'm zoomed in on right now. So it apparently has drive. The tube's not real, real hot to the touch either. So let's get a look at the schematic now. Let's see what else we could look at. All right, we're looking at the 6LB6 circuit. 
Okay, well here's one thing we could check. I put a cathode fuse in on the 6LB6. That can certainly be open. But here's that drive voltage I was just talking about. It's minus 58 volts. And that's found at pin 5. You can see that comes right off the horizontal oscillator plate. So let's also check to see what kind of grid voltage we have. And even if the TV was working, it's good practice to check that voltage. Because if that voltage is within specifications, like it should be, the tube should run pretty cool. You certainly don't want to let your horizontal output tube run too hot. Because they're costly to replace. So let's get a look. Let's turn the set off. We're going to check that fuse. Now on this chassis, they put the fuse above the chassis. Some models they had the fuse below. Well here it is. That's our fuse. Now originally that should have been a bell fuse with uh, pigtail leads, but apparently that failed at one time and another tech put this in. Not, not a bad installation, it looks like he did a good job, but uh, you know it's definitely easier to replace by today's standards because I'm sure that fuse is readily available compared to an old bell fuse like one of these right here. So to get the set unplugged, we'll take our digital meter I'm going to use a digital meter in this series because it's easier for you, the viewer, to see what's going on. So let's test for continuity. If I have continuity, the meter should beep. Yep. Now well, the fuse is good. Okay. Let's turn the set back on and let's check that. Let's check that drive voltage. All right. Get the camera set up here so you can check out the meter when I test it see what we come up with. We want minus 58 volts DC. It should be warmed up. Minus 61 volts? That's absolutely no problem. Well, that's good. Absolutely no concern there. I'm not concerned over 3 volt difference. In fact, if it's a little higher, that's even better. That tube would draw less current. So now we got to go on to our next procedure. Well, we got the grid voltage. The oscillator is apparently working. No high voltage, though. The fuse is good. We could have a bad sweep transformer. Could have a problem with the yoke. Maybe the damper, the voltage regulator. We got numerous things that could be problems right now. So where do you start? Well, a great instrument to have is this piece of equipment right here. It's called the B&K Analyst. This one's the model 1077B. And we'll explain what this machine's all about in the next video.